What's going on Axial Builders around the world? It's your boy Josh aka Coleman and you are now watching Scale Wars Axial's Battle of the Builders. All right, you guys, what's going down? Welcome back. Uh, first things first, let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Sorry for the weird lighting. I had a light go out in the studio. That's why we're out here. And um, yeah, we're going ghetto today. But we're going to make it happen anyway. So first things first, I just want to say we got three awesome entries today. We're going to go over. Super, super excited to go over these ones with you guys. Um, second, I want to say for all of you that have been having issues signing up for Scale Wars, I think I've had at least like four or five people now write me and saying that they've had issues um just know that it's still working for everybody so um not even being rude but chances are it's a user error issue um i do test submissions all the time just to make sure that it's still working on a regular basis and it's still working just fine i'm getting submissions like i just got one so um just be sure to take your time make sure that all your uh required you know uh categories are filled out make sure that you've got all the pictures entered and then also make sure you check the terms of service and then um give it some time if you have even good internet it could take 30 seconds plus to upload all those photos um for some of us it takes two three minutes maybe longer so just make sure you've got a good solid internet connection it helps to do it from a desktop with a wired internet connection uh, but if you're on a mobile device or whatever it can still be done I do have people entering for mobile devices so just know that you need to have a good internet connection that's important so anyways you guys let's get on with the show <sighs> I hope you guys got your helmets on let the battle begin Welcome back to the Scale Wars Battleground, everybody. Today we've got some pretty slick entries. I'm kind of stoked on these ones. Um, first up today is actually Jeff Calgar. Jeff is hailing from Casper, Wyoming. He is 35 years of age, and he's been subscribed to the Extreme Scale Performance channel for two plus years. So shout out to you. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, loyalty is always recognized around here. Uh, let's see. What year did you start building RCs? It looks like he started building RCs in the 1980s. So longer than most of you kids been alive. That's a long time. Uh, and the project we are looking at today is a good looking truck. I like it. He calls this Project Envy. And uh, I can see why. The green with Envy. That's pretty cool. So... <clears throat> let's see and I'm gonna apologize in advance I'm a little congested today but I got my coffee just to honestly coffee's not gonna help but I got coffee so mm. so first things first you guys know how I do uh, first impressions what are you guys thinking I mean obviously uh, it's not just me that's gonna be rating this today you guys it's gonna be you as well so as we're going through this, as we're flipping through these pictures, checking out these trucks, be sure to leave your comments. Be sure to leave your feedback. You can always leave more than one comment. Uh, let us know what you think of these guys' builds. But you know the rules, man. Keep it chill. Keep it peaceful. Keep it polite. Uh, try to build them up as if they're family because that's really all we are. We're one big family. So um, if you can't say it nice, if you can't give good feedback, you can't give feedback without hurting somebody's feelings, just don't give the feedback. Um, all right, so with that being said, the first thing I'm going to have to say is I like this truck. I think it's great, but it needs a couple of adjustments, just a couple of things, and it would be way better. So right off the bat, I think you did a good job. I can see you took the time to really put in work with this paint job. I thought these were stickers. I'm not so sure they are now. I mean, are they? What do you guys think? Do you think those are stickers or is that paint? I mean, I think that's actually paint. And uh, that's impressive. I mean, I know it's just a couple of stripes. He's got some pinstripes and a fat stripe, but that's nice. And it's original. It's unique. I like that. I would have liked to see it carried down the grill. would have been cool <clears throat> um, in some way, shape, or form. That would have been cool. But, you know, that's nitpicking. This is really cool paint job. Um... He's got all the details on the body. He definitely uh, made sure to get everything installed. He's got his mirrors, door handles. He's got his emblems looking good. All glass is in. Um, now, let's get into some of the things that are kind of bugging me real quick just because I can't ignore them. You guys already know the first thing I'm going to say. And if, <laughs> if you're thinking what I'm thinking, I'll leave it in the comments right here. Oh, man. I cannot stand these body pins. 
body pins, body clips, whatever you want to call them, they just take the entire realism, you know, right out of this this truck. I, this truck is really cool looking, but that is just messing it up. Um, other than that, though, honestly, it's pretty good looking. I would probably get rid of this light bar. I'm not a big fan of that light bar. I know people really like their light bars. And plus, they come in handy when you're out running around at night or doing recon G6s, things like that. It's great to have these. At Axial Fest, you're definitely going to want one of these. Um, if not one of these, you're just you're going to want some bright lights for sure. But I just can't stand the way they just... It sticks out. It's so just obnoxious looking with this slick profile of this truck it's an old pickup truck honestly i'd say maybe just throw some brighter lights down here like a couple of those squadron type lights you know uh the little pod lights down here super bright um would look way cooler and be way more realistic or throw some kcs throw a roll bar in here and go with the you know period correct look and throw like some kcs on there some round oval lights round oval <laughs> and then uh other than that, these SEX-10 sliders right here, um, not a big fan of those on this truck. They look like they would definitely, they're taken away from your, your um, just everything right here. I mean, this is, you could get this truck into some tighter spots if these were not there. So, you, you know, when you break over rock can hit this. And, of course, there's sliders, so it's not going to be that bad. What I would recommend doing would be maybe heat them up in here and you can bend this up and get it tucked up a little bit closer to the side of the truck here that would look a lot more realistic or if you don't want them you could always uh pull them off if you're cool with that i mean just pull them off and run nothing you know there you don't have to have something there because the size of wheels and tires that you're running um, you were running some pretty beefy wheels and tires on there. Ideally, it'd be cool to see you get the body a little lower and get some smaller wheels and tires, but given what you did, I'm pretty sure you're invested into these. Um, for those of you that haven't caught on yet, these are 2.2 wheels with 1.9 tires wrapped around them, and it actually looks pretty cool. It, I'm not going to lie, it looks pretty cool. I just think that the sliders are taken away from it. So if you got rid of the sliders, got rid of this light bar up here, got rid of these uh body clips right here and maybe put on like some squadron type i don't know why i keep saying squadron that might not even be the correct term but you know the like the little uh vanquish q light pods or you there's axial has the factory light pods you can use you know right out of the parts trees from an sex 10 um there's a lot of different things you could use but it, it would be just a little bit more sleek looking it would give you a cooler profile and really show off this truck um other than that you know I, i'm honestly i'm nitpicking that's three things that you've got holding you back here other than that this truck really is looking good for first impression so um the trailer is awesome too i'm really liking the trailer it looks sweet and yeah so anyways let's keep going all right we're, we're still on the first picture here so Next picture, we've got kind of an overhead shot here. I guess this could be our top shot, the top photo he's trying to give us. Uh, shows that he's got some stuff in the bed, which is pretty cool. Uh, looks like a shovel, maybe a toolbox or something here. Looks like he's got the cooler, got some wood for the fire, got the, uh, is that the keg or the propane thing? It looks like the, uh, it looks like a propane thing, I don't know. But that's cool. And then, yeah, of course, you know, this is pretty slick. You can always add more stuff, you know, if he's going on, like, a cool adventure and he needs to get scale accessory points or something like that. Um, next picture. Wait a minute. That's from the same angle almost, mister. So, uh, this, this is going to touch back to my original point. we got to get these correct photos in. Don't just throw ten random photos in. I need the exact photos I'm asking for, folks. But, uh, we'll try to work with this. I can see some interior here, so... Uh, looks like he's got two drive or two drivers. He's got a driver and a passenger, so two figures in there. Is that a bat? It looks like a bat. Is that a bat? <laughs> looks like looks like someone's holding a bat. So maybe they're hostile. I don't know. <laughs> maybe they're they're on the run. Um. Oh wait a minute. This is from the same angle as the last two. So see, we've got a problem here. I can only see your truck from these angles. We need to get all the angles. Um, and be sure you guys, when you fill out the form, 
it says right there top bottom left side exterior left side interior right side exterior right side interior etc 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 so make sure you get those exact photos for me folks uh, next one here's a front shot we can see um, pretty cool looking he's got the paint match grill I would have liked to see some depth depth in this grill you could paint this back piece black would have made it look a lot cooler um, even if you kept the mesh green the back plate back there you should have had that black um, here you can see what I meant by if you would have brought the stripes down this would look slick right there but nice looking front end I like the grill um, the dual bumper look I'm not so sure on that I think actually what's supposed to happen is this bumper is supposed to go away this body is supposed to be down lower and this bumper is supposed to be tucked right up in here I'm pretty sure but correct me if I'm wrong I don't rock Toyotas too much, so uh, I'm sure the Toyota experts in the comments will correct me. Um, let's go. Next shot. We've got the underside. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Looking pretty good. Is uh, what the, let's, let's go through some of the parts list here. So he's got an SCX10. It's an RC four-wheel drive body with custom paint. Uh, it's a uh, automotive clear coat on the paint so that explains why the paint's so glossy looking it's super nice um rc four wheel drive 2.2 wheels uh with rc four wheel drive 1.9 kipton Ki kiptor kiptor uh tires I, I i don't know how to pronounce that and then he's got the uh worn winch on there he's got a light kit he's got rc four wheel drive front bumper he's got a uh, rc four wheel drive rear bumper Aluminum links, aluminum C hubs, AE5 ESC, RC four wheel drive, 35 turn motor. Um, let's see, Proline light bar, all metal gears in the transmission, and that's all he's got listed there. So looks pretty good. Looks like he's got all the links, upper and lower, are all aluminum. Um, there you can see his C hubs. It looks like Boom Racing C hubs and steering links there. Uh, I like how he's got the cool, you know, the the fake dampener there. Um, it's looking pretty good. Random zip tie there. I'm not sure what that's for. It doesn't look like it's actually holding anything, but um, hmm, maybe it is. Maybe there's something running back here. Yeah, because there's a wire right there. So there's probably a zip tie or zip ties are holding these top ones. I would recommend using black zip ties. Definitely easier to hide there. Just a little tip for you guys. Um, yeah, you can't see too much from right here. Stock wild boar drive shafts, stock shocks, it looks like. Um, let's keep going. Here's the back side underneath. Oh, he's got the spare under there. That's kind of cool. Um, now, see, realistically, though, the spare wouldn't be right there because you've got it pinched between the chassis and the bed. The bed, in real life, would be sitting on that chassis. So, that's another improvement you could really make on this would be getting that bed tucked down onto the actual chassis um, would be a big 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 improvement for this but still uh, I see what you're doing that was a good attempt there and I like that um, just you know try to if you can get this on the bottom side of the chassis and get that bed the whole body is just sitting down low enough to where the bed is actually touching the chassis that would be ideal um, I know you would have to move some things around obviously but that would be ideal and there's the whole underside there looking pretty good and sounds like my coffee pot just shut off um yeah, what we got pro line accessories in the bed got his toe strap back there uh some more accessories in the bed it looks like there's more in this one than there were in the earlier pictures uh what is this 454 i'm not sure what that's for but he's got some cool little stickers and stuff on there that is definitely a baseball bat in there. <laughs> Once again, there's those body pins I'd like to see disappear. Um, yeah, you could definitely make those body pins disappear and get that body lower down there. And this would just look so much better, man. It would look killer. Um, you may have to change your wheel entire combination out. And I know a lot of people really get hung up on that. But if you go for a smaller 1.9, even a 1.55, but... A 1.9 would do it, and uh, you could still get a similar outside diameter, maybe a little bit smaller, 
but then you can get this really tucked down and get that truck looking proper man and you will see an improvement in performance as well all right let's keep going i think that's it all right that is all she wrote i'm pretty sure nope there's more <laughs> okay it says pro line 454 okay and that's it that's all we got for pictures so there we have it all right you guys that is jeff's entry project envy be sure to let us know what you think of it in the comments below if you'd like to see what he scored be sure to go to www.extremescaleperformance.com click on the scale wars tab scroll to the bottom and you can follow the points there everyone's scores are posted after each episode uh let's go on to the next build all right next up to battle is mike wall and uh, he's hailing from, you guys, I'm, I know I'm not going to get this right, but Methune, Massachusetts. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I got that right. Uh, he is 41 years of age, and he has been subscribed to Extreme Skill Performance for about one year now. So uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. That's one year loyalty, and uh, that's, that's awesome. He says he's been building RCs since 1987. Um, another gentleman that's been building since the eighties. Uh, I, I have a feeling that's going to be an ongoing thing. Um, and let's see this project he calls the SCX 10 Dingo snowplow. So the Dingo snowplow is what he calls this bad boy. Um, he says this is not his most scale truck, uh, but he thought it was fitting to upload pics of it, uh, because it was on the last day of winter. So <laughs> that's awesome. Shout out to you, Mike. I appreciate that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this build a little bit. Before we dig into the uh, aesthetics of it and, and all the parts and all the goodness, um, let's go ahead and get a first impression. But in order to do that, we're going to have to change the photo. Thankfully, he sent me a ton of photos, though, um, which you can no longer do. This is one of the early entries before I changed to the new form. But um, thank you for sending good photos, by the way. These are nice, proper size photos, and so was the last one. Um, what do we got going on here? This is a pretty good looking truck. I mean, you guys tell me what you think. It, it's a factory body, so I mean, obviously, you can't get overly scale with the factory body as it wasn't licensed by anything. It's kind of like a, a Land Rover Defender Bronco ish, international ish thing, but it's still, it's really cool looking. And um, he's got all the lights installed. He's got Warren Winch on the front. Uh, he's got a cool bumper on here. He's got his shackles, his D-rings, everything. Um, he's got some snow chains, though. Those are pretty slick. Uh, I dig the snow chains. I used to rock some snow chains on one of my trucks. And uh, eventually it wound up hooking on the body messed it all up. But these ones look like they're a nice tight fit. Nice and snug. Doesn't look like he's having any issues. Um... Let's see, the worn hubs, I like those. You can see the locking hubs in there. I'm not sure if those are the worn ones or the Scale Yoda Ison style ones, but <clears throat> let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. What else we got going on here? Looks like he's got an interior set up. I mean, it's probably the uh, interior that's only like a half interior. It stops like right here, but still, it looks like he's got it going on in here. He's got a bunch of stuff piled in there. It looks like he's got some sort of a soft top going on. Um, pretty cool looking. First impressions, I think, is pretty slick, man. Uh, as far as, you know, just making the best out of that factory body, it looks like you did a pretty good job. You didn't overdo it. There's not a bunch of stuff just bolted to the body. Um, the paint job looks nice, clean. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, uh, you can't really say too much. It's a factory body. So let's go ahead and uh, go through the photos. Let's see here. There's another shot of it overhead. Looking pretty good. You can see the wheels a little bit better there. Um looking really nice actually from this angle uh, he's got the spare in the back got the uh, fire extinguisher got the extra gas can that snow plow is looking real nice though I'm liking that a lot let's uh let's go ahead and take a look at his um, parts list here I'm, I'm really curious what this thing has on it. I have a feeling it has some really nice parts for a factory body Whew, excuse me guys I swear I'm getting more and more clogged up as I talk here um, let's see, he says it's originally a stock SCX-10 Dingo kit. He says he's modified it for snow plowing performance. Um, light bezels in the front with the Defender look. I, I thought that was something that was a little different. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the grill, this, 
grill and this like uh, little piece here gives it a way more Defender 90 look. These are like the bezels, the light bezels off the Defender 90, I think. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure about the grill, but um, that's pretty slick. And he says he's modified. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I already read that. So um, he added side marker lights and tail lights using axial light buckets. So you can see those there. And he's also got the tail lights, which you can't see from here, but let's see if we can. I don't want. I don't want to go through all the pictures. We'll look at those when we get to them. Um, let's see. He's uh, also lit up the dash controls, which is pretty cool. He's got RC light controller for all the LEDs. Um, tough armor front and rear bumpers from RC four wheel drive with King Kong mini toe shackles. Worn winch from RC four wheel drive with wired winch unit uh or the winch control unit he's got axial inner fenders for the sex 10 he's got the strc aluminum steering knuckles and hub carriers uh hey okay no brainer bec um rc four wheel drive chassis mounted steering servo kit with pan hard bar he's got the savix waterproof servo he's got the uh axial racing aluminum steering servo horn yeah racing interior accessories like the fire extinguisher and fuel can Gearhead RC accessories like the milk crate and cooler and uh, he says he's got custom leather rag top and RC four wheel drive race line monster 1.9 beadlock wheels so that's why I like those wheels those are nice I like the race line wheels um, nice nice that's a good parts list alright so let's go ahead and go through this a little bit I really 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 am digging on this winch setup look at this madness he's got going on here all these springs and everything I mean this is this is pretty cool and it looks homemade too so it looks like you put some time into that um, looks like your winch might be a little off centered maybe or just the fairly the uh, yeah I don't know is it cricket there's your fairly cricket I don't know uh, it, it just looks a little off but then this is pretty slick looking. I'm not a fan of Phillips head screws. I don't know why. I just not a fan of those. But I really like this plow. It's really cool looking. Um, I like that he's got the mirrors installed. Here's the uh, tail lights he said he did there. I like that. Uh, I like this rear bumper. Looks sweet with this body. That's just a perfect match. Um, what do we got going on here? This I would have liked to see a different spare. Probably like a matching spare would have been a little bit better. Uh, I can't see a whole lot on this rag top up here from this angle, but I am liking that. There we go. Now I can see it. Uh, it's a little rough around the edges, but it's cool. Um, one thing you could probably do is like uh, maybe bring it all the way around, or maybe just do more stitching through here would make it look a lot cooler because it just looks like so rough cut. I don't know. Maybe because where you have the stitching looks awesome so maybe if you just did that the whole way around it would look a lot cooler I think um, other than that though it's pretty slick and let's keep going here oh he's got his windshield wipers installed I like that and here's the interior from the driver's side not too bad not too bad pretty basic stuff um, of course it's not the full interior like I like to see but you know there's there's an interior there's something um, that's cool I like the milk crate and stuff they're on the back yeah not too bad there's not a whole lot to say about that you know it's just the factory interior um, oh I see you got the high of jack stash back there that's kinda cool <clears throat> here's the undercarriage looking pretty good I mean it's all blacked out and that's what I like to see <clears throat> yeah it's looking pretty good there's not uh, that blue servo kinda of taken away from the realism a little bit so if you would have spray painted this blue servo black um, and maybe put some black wire loom over these wires that's really all I could recommend for underneath the underneath looks great um, not a whole lot you could do maybe throw some uh, disc brakes in here like some kind of brakes um, maybe throw some rock lights or something under there would be cool but other than that I mean, it's it's already it's pretty slick looking uh, he's got the worn 9.5 CTI winch um, looking good it's just factory looks like uh, 
He's got the factory cable on there that's definitely wearing out. I would replace that because those will cause you some problems. Um, yeah, man, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. This is a cool setup. I like how you did this. Definitely cool. Oh, there he is. Everybody say hi to Mike. What's up, Mike? And there we go. That's what I was really looking for right there. I want to see the. I want to see the guts. So he's got it laid out pretty clean. This isn't too bad. Um, probably could have cleaned these wires up a little bit, but not too bad. Not too bad. Like this big blue wire, uh, maybe get that tucked down somewhere, shortened up. But yeah, that's not too bad at all, man. It's looking pretty good. I like how you did this across here. It's the magnetic body mounts for those of you that are wondering. Uh, I'm just now realizing that you didn't have body clips sticking through the hood on the factory body. So, bonus points for you, sir. Uh, most of the time, I am not a fan of magnetic bodies at all, or the magnetic body mounts. But when you're running a lightweight Lexan body like that, it is just fine. It works perfect. These magnets are super strong. That body's not going to go nowhere. Um, unless you roll it really hard or something, but... Yeah, all right, this is looking pretty good. Looks like the second battery here is probably to run his lights. First battery right here is to run everything else. And yeah, man, not a bad layout. All right, here's just some wheel porn here. I'm loving these wheels. Those wheels are just killer. I might have to get me a set of those. Uh, that's a nice shot right there. Plow lifted up, angled, looking good. Yeah, it's just, see, look at this, no body mounts through there no post through there just looks killer um i like how this is all lit up here yeah it's just looking good there it is with the plow down so plow up and angled that direction plow down angled that direction angled that direction uh there's from the back again other side and i think that's it that's all we got that is all we got so you guys let me know what you think of Mike Wall's Dingo Snowplow. I think it's pretty slick, honestly. He did a lot of small things on this that are really grabbing my attention. Um, like the bezels, like you know the how he did his plow, um, the body post delete. Just a lot of things. He did the inner fenders. Um, just lots of little things. He made the most out of a factory body. And props to you for that. Uh, n the next step is just getting rid of this body and getting you a nice, you know, hard body of some kind, and uh, making that fit what you've already got going on. Because this, it, the layout is proper. The this truck is proper. You did a good job here. So uh, you guys, let me know. Let Mike know what you think of the Dingo Snowplow down in the comments. And uh, on to the next build. We're gonna see what else we've got going on here. All right, everybody, our third and final entry in today's battle is Judd Rummage, uh, a.k.a. Judd Rummage Concepts, a.k.a. JRC. And uh, he is actually the official uh, graphics designer for the Extreme Scale Performance channel. So shout out to Judd. He is a prominent guy in the RC community, he gets around. He's uh, worked with a lot of awesome companies and just um, he, he's just generally a great guy. So yeah, if you want to see what he looks like, unfortunately, he did not include his mugshot in today's episode. So you will have to um, look him up. Actually, if you want to see him, you can see he is on both the Axial Fest 2015 and 2016 movies that I put out. So uh, go check him out. He actually was uh, involved with doing some really cool RC giveaways in the Axial Fest 2015 one. And um, I think he might have done one in 2016 too. Um, so anyways... Let's go ahead and get into this a little bit. Judd Rummage comes from Mount Shasta, Northern California, which actually isn't too far from where I'm at. Uh, he is 44 years of age, and he has been subscribed to the Extreme Scale Performance Channel for about two years now. So thank you, sir, for your loyalty. Very much appreciated. Um, let's see. This project right here, he calls this the JRC Icon Black Knight, which is obviously a fitting title i mean this thing is murdered out and it's just it's covered in icon logo so it's just this is a great looking truck um and i'm gonna warn you guys just right off the bat 
the parts list is extensive and he gives a lot of explanation so I'm just gonna read it word for word it's gonna take me a minute and uh, I'm just gonna leave it on this right here so you guys can scope this and then uh, we'll go through all the photos he sent he sent some pretty good looking photos here so uh, let's see he rates his build a 9 out of 10 um, that's 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 up there that's up there I mean it's a good build but what do you guys think do you think it's a 9 let me know um, he says because this is his best work to date so this this is his best work I mean you guys want to see what he's all about this just sums it all up right here now me personally I've seen a lot of his builds um, there a lot of them are in the Axial Fest movies because I I mean I was just as a cameraman I was attracted to them uh, I saw them all lined up and I had to get a couple shots of them so um, I know he builds some pretty cool looking trucks i mean this this is a great example um you guys might think some of his other ones are better i don't know uh but let's go into this so he says i made a conscious decision to make this rig or to make this the most detailed coolest configured axial based performance rig i could come up with everything was made to be as light as possible up high okay so he wanted it to be uh the top not top heavy but extremely light up top so he says, I feel I took more risk and tended to uh, do more details than most hard body builders. Okay, all right. Well, that's a risky statement, but that's okay. Well, so we'll get into it. He might be justified in that. Um, he says, I went through two JK bodies and two honcho beds to perfect, oh, to perfect the cuts. Um, he says, it has an internal and external paint job that features a design that was extremely difficult to mask. Okay, so this is paint. All right, this all right. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting here. Um, he says you can't see it in the picture, but this paint job was made so that the terrain would reflect off the internally painted Lexan and become the color of the areas that were not matte black. The external paint job, huh? That's wait a minute. Wait, what? So he says. You can't see it in the picture, but this paint job was made so that the terrain would reflect off the internal painted Lexan and become the color of the areas that were not matte black, the external paint job. Interesting. Which I can see some reflection going on here if that's what he's talking about, like how it's only reflecting inside of this here. Maybe that's what he's getting at because this is obviously the reflection of something going on here so I, I think i understand what he's saying there interesting okay so all the matte black is two coats of black body paint and uh matte backer and then he says the honcha bed is also masked uh to two colors he says i designed all the internal stickers including the seat belts had them produced shipped and then i installed them they feature details as small as temperatures on the climate controls and names and icons on all the buttons he says I also designed the icon hood armor had it produced shipped and then I sanded and painted it then installed it he says it has 13 body holes Ooh, that thing's on there uh, the cage is trimmed sanded and painted he says it matches an available configuration with half doors no handles and the rear doors open on solenoids uh, to reveal an integrated toolbox insert no kidding okay um where is where is where is it i just lost my spot here. <laughs> uh the body also features a poison spider light bar mount rigid light bar night custom smitty built xr series front and rear bumpers and fenders uh two times um cust or so he has two night customs 10 gallon roto packs hood latches and rear tail lights uh, three colors um, he says he's also got a snorkel on there plus he has the night customs angry grill and radiator all of which I sanded primed and painted front and rear uh, helios are oh okay so that he's got the helios the um, you guys will see him the halos I think is what he meant on there um, and he says he has Oh, he says he has front and rear Helios scale GoPros. Helios is the company I see. And then he says uh, custom painted Proline jack and extinguishers. 
uh, with added safety instruction stickers, a split radiator that has three different colored components, and added hoses that are uh, integrated to the stickers in the interior. The spare is a 3D printed fake rim to make it lighter. Uh, it has a rear a real beadlock ring and 24 real screws with a real tire and no foam. It says it was commissioned, waited for, shipped, then I sanded, painted, and assembled it. Then mounted it with a bolt, then strapped it with a tire strap that I designed. Uh, he had that produced, shipped, and painted it a unique way to match the blacked out theme. He says other parts were the working RC four wheel drive worn winch with hook strap before they were released and uh, Vanquish Poison Spider rockers, Vanquish Method 101s, uh, Crawler Innovation foams, Proline Super Swamper 4.2s. Uh, he's got, let's see, other than that, he says this was a standard SCX 10 Wrangler kit with metal trans gears. Icon shocks and metal links. It was never equipped with electronics so that the winner of our giveaway could choose their own. Oh, I see. So this was one of the giveaway rigs. Pretty slick. And actually, I think I got the giveaway of this on camera, if I remember right. Um, all right. So now that we know all of that, that was a lot to take in. Let's go through these pictures and really just get a good look at this truck, man. Because I'm digging this. You can see a lot of detail already in this picture, which I'm sure you guys are more than familiar with by now so here we go this is looking good man here you can see that front icon uh, hood armor that he was talking about this is pretty slick looking I like that um, here you can see he's got his light bar up top that's looking good snorkel right here is really nice looking um, there's just GoPros on there I see those I like the hood latches those are proper I like the fenders. The fenders are looking good too. Here's the uh, Night Customs Angry Eyes layout. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but um, yeah, it's, dude, this thing's looking mean. You know, you can't see a whole lot from this picture. Let's go to the next one. All right, here's the back here. You can see his strap layout here. It's I I really like this strap he's got on the tire. Um, Got his uh, high lift there. Got extinguishers both sides. Oh, he's still got body clips right here. Well, there's no body clips in them, but you can see the posts coming through. Um, ooh, those kill me. But at least he took the clips out for the photos, so props. And he, they may not even be on there. He might have, like, you know, magnets or something holding this on. Uh, you can see a lot of the detail back here, though. Here is the... Uh, uh, custom split radiator that he did which is pretty slick I like that a lot and oh am I going the wrong way there we go there's another shot of the back you can see a lot of the detail here the cage work is looking pretty cool I like how this cage is uh, that's just completely gives it a different look by doing the cage like that definitely a fan of that big fan of that um, Let's keep this moving. Oh, wrong way. All right, so here you can see the roto packs in the back. That looks cool. You can see all the details and stuff here. I like the lights. I like the exhaust poking through. It got blurry down here, but I like that. I like that he's got the trailer hitch there. Yeah, he's got the D-ring shackles hanging there. Just. This whole thing is just screaming nice, man. I really, really, really like it. Oh, that's a great shot right there. That thing looks mean. Oh, uh, those methods all blacked out look awesome. Yeah, just, I'm a big fan of this Jeep. He did a great job with this thing. I am really liking it. So... You guys seeing anything that's bugging you yet? I can see something that's really bugging me right now. And it's definitely going to uh, be one of the things that cost him. Now, something to keep in mind, too, is this photo is edited to be black and white, I think, more than it naturally is. Yeah, there's red back here, but I can't see any coloring on these. Now, maybe he painted these. I could be wrong. Maybe these are painted, but I would think I should see some color on those wires right there. 
Um, I could be wrong on that though. There's red up on these wires, so maybe he's got them all sleeved black. So props on that too. Yeah, he must because look, you can see the coloring in the seats a little bit. You can see the coloring in the light bar. So interesting, very interesting. I'll tell you what's bugging me though is this, this big gap right here. You see that big gap through there? I should not be able to see that gap there or that gap there. And same in the back, there's just a lot of gap going on. Um, not that the body's sitting up too high or anything, but just if he had inner wheel wells, it would complete the look of this for sure. Inner wheel wells, um, get that servo off the axle. Maybe just do some axle porn, you know, a little bit more in the axles and stuff and get the inner wheel wells. The body's looking killer for what it is. Um, I'm not a big fan of these Lexan bodies. Everybody knows that. But if you're going to get one, this is the way to do it. Like, this is definitely, definitely the best Lexan body I've seen to date. Um, let's keep it moving here. Oh, that's cool. Now you can really see the reflecting going on here. I like that. And you can see, yeah, see, now you can see the color in here. So maybe I was right. See how it's red here, but in the last picture. Oh, I went the wrong way. See that? You can't see anything there, so... I'm wondering if this was just edited that way, you know. And boom, right here you can really see a lot of the reflecting going on, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the icon stuff going on here is just great. I like that. Definitely like that. I think I see a little Photoshop action right here. <laughs> like you fix that a little bit and then boom there we go now you can see it this is this is pretty good looking right here this is you can see the red underneath there so I can properly critique that um, you can see the red there all right so that right there that's something that I would like to see hidden the the colors and the wire really bugs me if those were all blacked out and tucked up, which I'm sure he's aware of because he has that one picture where he photoshopped them all black. So I'm pretty sure he's aware of that. That would definitely help. But the stance on this thing is wicked. Love the stance. Um, another thing that I would have liked to see would be some scale hubs over these of some kind. Would have looked great uh, other than having the stock wheel spindles sticking through there. Um, having the scale hubs like the KMCs or something on there would have looked great. Uh, oh man, I just I really like this. This is just a great build. There reason there's another shot of it right there. Uh, side profile looking good. You see the axial links. Uh, these swampers, brand new, obviously never been ran by this photo, but looking great. Another reason why you need those inner wheel wells. You can see it right there. You can also see the clear photoshopping on this one too. So. Photoshop right here where he wanted to hide the coloring that was going on there and I understand that it's an issue It's frustrating when you've got that uh, Going on and this was I'm sure these were like pictures for promotional use or something, but also there's some more right here What I like to see taken care of but Yeah, you guys get the idea. I mean obviously he's aware of it. So um, And at this point this build is long gone, but still just great looking look at the detail in the back I mean this is a Lexan body but just you can see how much work he put into this just looks great the exhaust is on point love the exhaust um, yeah it looks good imagine some scale axle housings though you know like the SSD housings or the Vanquish housings or just something back here um, you know uh, the Voodoo housings the TKO's Anything, you know, other than the factory ones would have just added that extra little touch. And then you add, like, a, the disc brakes would have been cool. Um, yeah, but I like it, man. This thing is just wicked. I can't really do much other than nitpick. But there are some things that are looked over. I mean, the general aesthetic of this Jeep is just unbelievable. It's beautiful. But when you get you know you look at the big picture it's great but when you get into the details you can see what's missing there's a lot of little things that could have been improved and it's just little things it's minor things but he didn't build this for himself as a driver 
it was built as a giveaway so that's just something else to keep in mind and the person that has it now if they're watching maybe they can you know use some of these tips so you guys give that feedback as well what would you like to see improved on this Jeep um, there's a few things I have pointed out already you know am I missing some things you guys let me know now oh, there's another shot without the graphics I see and then that's it that's all we've got that's all she wrote so I dig this one. This is Judd Rummage Concepts Jeep. He calls it the JRC Icon. The Black Knight is what he refers to it as. And it's just a great looking rig. Uh, we did catch some Photoshop going on in here, but I don't think that was done to fool me by any means. Uh, I think that's just him playing around. He's a graphics designer. He likes to goof off with that stuff. And I think these photos were used uh, for promotion for like the giveaway for Axial Fest back in the day. So. Uh, great job, Judd. I really like this. Um, the work you put into this is awesome. Uh, there's definitely some things I would like to see improved. You know, I know that can't be done now, but just for your future builds, you know, just some things to keep in mind. Um, if you're going to stick with Lexan, get these inner wheel wells for sure. Uh, definitely go the extra mile on the axle porn if you're going to stick with Lexan just to help make up for that as well. Um, it, I like to see, you know, the axles just as detailed as the body and everything else. And clearly you've got a, a knack for doing details here. So, um, the stickers, I think we should take a quick peek at those if we can get a good shot of them. Um, you can really see that these stickers brought some life to the interior, the seats, everything. I want to see the dash. I don't know if we've got a dash shot. I don't recall seeing one. Do we have a dash shot? Oh, let's back up. There you can kind of see some. And then, there we go. You can see a little bit more of the dash there. Yeah, it's looking good, man. It's looking real good. But, you know, getting that full 3D interior would take it up a notch where you go all the way down to the floorboard, um, having it just scaled out all the way through. And, you know, we talked recently, and I know that you're well aware of my, my thoughts on that stuff. Um, having, like, uh, uh, the disc brakes, um, just little things. Maybe doing some, um, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't see, like, uh, anti-sway bars or anything like that. That would be nice to see under here. Um, you could do, like, the curry sway bar setup. Uh, there's just a few things you could do that would really just take this up to that next level. The scale hubs would really, really help. But uh, all in all, this build is definitely beautiful for a Lexan build. Um, the body is just over the top. I, it's one of the coolest ones I've seen in a long time. And uh, you guys just let me know what you think. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> I think I'm running out of breath. Um, this has been a pretty great episode, I think. These entries were really cool to look at, really cool to just go through these details. Um, let me know what you think. And again, everybody, keep those entries coming. We're out now. I want to say at least 10 episodes now we are booked out. So be sure to get those entries in if you want to get them in. I'm going to have to come up with some sort of like a... Uh, like a way to skip in line, like a fast pass sort of thing where people can buy like an opportunity to move up or like do something. I don't know because there's so many people are getting lined up. We'll see. You guys give me uh, feedback in the comments. Let me know if you have ideas on that and give me feedback on the just how I'm doing in general. I mean, I'm sorry about the lights also on the intro. <laughs> hopefully that'll be fixed by the next one. I'm going to be ordering lights tomorrow, hopefully. So yeah, anyways, you guys, thank you very much for joining in for this week's battle, and I will see you next Saturday. You know what it is. Peace and chicken grease. Yeah.